What's up, Trey Tube, man? Welcome back to another video. And today, we don't have a reaction. We don't have a prank. We don't have a challenge. Today, we're paying our respects to Pop Smoke, man. We woke up and we seen that he passed away today. It's real sad, man. I don't wish death upon nobody. I feel like um, everybody should have a chance at life. He was having his chance at life and he just maybe made the wrong mistake. And sometimes you gotta live and learn, go through your own experiences to understand what people mean by you live and you learn. Like some people try to tell somebody something, they won't listen, they have to go out there and find out for themselves. But I don't know, man. I don't know too much on the situation. All they said was it was um three men in, in hoodies. They ran in this morning. And I don't know if he tried to defend himself or what, but he ended up dying. And um, to me, I feel like it's only one or two things that could have happened. He had the wrong people knowing where he lived. <coughs> or he thought he had the right people knowing where he lived and they were the wrong people. <coughs> <coughs> When you have a whole bunch of success and fame and it comes so fast, it's kind of happened. It's kind of the same situation with 6 9 When stuff happens so fast, you have to stay cautious of your surroundings. The faster, the faster life moves, the more you have to pay attention because they have snakes hiding on each side of the grass. They camouflage, you can't see them, you know what I'm saying? Don't let money and success don't let me say this let me let me let me rephrase this don't think money can buy loyalty don't mistake money and fame for loyalty because you can have somebody you came up with and y'all was doing y'all thing you know what i'm saying but that first time you tell him no i mean y'all seen what happened to pop I ain't gonna lie, I, I'm not a fan. And I'm saying that in the most humble way possible. Like, I, I just wasn't a fan. Like, I've heard his music and I just wasn't a fan of it. But that don't mean you can't be a fan of somebody. Like, a, you can't be a fan of their person, not their, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could I could have been a, he was a cool person. Like, every time I seen him, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing, he was coming up, he was minding his business. So I liked him, I liked the way he, well, I liked the way I thought he moved as a person. But just rapping, I mean, it was all right. I mean, I guess I could bump it, the Travis Scott song and stuff like that, but it's sad, man. And it's crazy because every year this year, since the beginning of 2020, a celebrity has passed. And it hasn't been because of overdoses. Oh, we had Juice Pass. I don't remember when Juice Pass was this year or last year, but it's like, we try to tell the kids to listen to the people who say, don't take the drugs. They listen or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They, we know they're not listening, but then people getting killed and it's like, dang, like, is it even safe to be a celebrity? Or are people just not moving the correct way nowadays? It's crazy, man. Somebody has to wake up today without a father, without a son, without an uncle, you know what I'm saying? That's sad. Everybody think about the good things in life and they don't think about the bad things in life. They always put themselves in the, um, in the, they always, they always look forward and hope that everything is good, but they never, they're, you're never prepared for the worst. That's why I'm always prepared for, I don't even let my daughter go outside and play in my front yard. Cause I don't want somebody to be like, oh, that's Trey's daughter. I know where he stay now. You know what I'm saying? Cause you just never know, bro. You never know who's out to get you. You never, cause people want your spot. A lot of people may like you, but a lot of people may not like you. So I don't want this video to be too long. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to come give my opinion on the situation and share my condolences. I, I don't wish death upon nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. I feel like the way to go is the natural way, like natural causes. I don't feel like, I don't know. We live in an evil world, man. And we let, we let the world make us think money is more important than life. 
and we have people selling their souls for money and trading for their life. All I'm gonna say is, man, y'all stay safe, stay out the streets, stay out the clubs, and stay your ass at home. It's the only safe place. As soon as you walk out of your house, <coughs> you're um bound to something. It's just bound to happen. You know what I, mean? I mean, I thank God when nothing happened when I go out, but I'm always expecting something to happen. Always, no matter what I'm doing. I could be bowling with my family. I'm always expecting something to happen. Always expect the worst, man. You know what I'm saying? Fear of God. Don't fear these niggas because niggas don't kill niggas. Guns kill. Niggas kill niggas with guns. So, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing. To, these niggas ain't. You, you put your drawers on just how they put their drawers on. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, it's your boy Trey Dub. I'm checking out, man. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe bell. And, um, yeah, just stay tuned. I'm dropping every day, man. So, yeah, R.I.P. Smoke, man. R.I.P. King Nipsey, man. R.I.P. Juice World, man. Free Rallo, man. We out this bitch.